Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Undernauts, Labyrinth of Yomi. Let's go to continue by making a new character. You know, they give you the opportunity to have different types, so why not try out other ones? Especially because we have two uh, sorcerers, myself and Kyoko-chan. But let's go ahead and switch one over. Someone asked if I can get a, you know, if someone would want to do like a cat girl ninja. So why not do that? I think that's a funny idea. Um, so I don't know. So who would it be? I mean, if we just look for like cat girls, I mean, here's the gymnast ninja. Obviously, that would be our go-to ninja girl. But let's see what other types we got going on here. Are there little kitty cat girls? I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, we have this one as a cleric. I remember that one. Ooh, she looks like she'd be a cool ninja. Oh, this is definitely a cool ninja. I like that one. Which is that alm two? Okay, alm two seems cool. Um. Anna too. Yeah, a lot of these characters are so, oh my god, <laughs> Ronin. So I think, like, um, I don't know if playing as different sprites here actually affect their starting stats. It must, though, right? Oh, my lord. Saf Savers of Sapphire Wings. You know, now that I think about it, I feel like that name sounds very familiar. Popolog P. Alright, we'll go Popolog. Popolog. All right, so this guy's uh, gonna be um, speedy strength, speedy strength. So athlete, perfect, athlete. Great athletic ability. So he's gonna more speedy strength. Here's a creative one, <laughs> oh, vagabond. Now nah, we'll go this, we'll go the speedy strength one. We're gonna have a ninja character, um, someone who stays in the back line, right? Athlete or vagabond. You know, I'll get a bunch of cool different abilities. All right. So we're gonna hopefully use one of those uh, long range attacks, right? Okay, so speed and luck. Claims to boost high jumping. Um, yeah, speed and luck sounds pretty cool. Types, only got one type, go ahead and do this. And uh, we'll put some in speed. And um, I'm assuming strength is gonna be what we're gonna need. So a little bit of strength. Strength and speed, this is gonna be another like glass cannon-ish character, so. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this character in our team. We'll go ahead and move down Kyoko-chan. She's going to be out of the team for a bit. Let's change formation. Okay, so the Vanguard. Oh, man. Okay, we got um, a Kijima. And not Anna. Kijima, Lumi. Uh, God, what the hell are their names? <laughs> uh, Hiro. It's Hiro. Hiro. Yumi. And then it's me. And then, actually, no. I think, like, if someone gets stunned, it moves up, like, whatever the next one is. So it probably should be Papawag, who can be maybe a semi-frontliner afterwards, right? And then me, and then our healer. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay. And before we jump in, I'm going to guess I have to fix this items, right? So let's check out the items. We'll go and upgrade. Uh... Where is it? Popalog's items? He's wearing a kunai, so this is medium range. So here's hoping he can attack from long range using the supply kunai. I'm gonna go ahead and boost up the attack by two, and then we'll give him some nice clothes. I know I just like finished upgrading Kyoko's, but it's okay, no problem. Whatever, we'll find more stuff as we go along. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, so what's our next goal? I don't even remember. I need to hurry to the Chinoa Gate. It's at the storage tent. Oh, my bad, my bad. Chinoa Gate. I don't know how to use the gate. <laughs> what? All right. What's up? There, done uh, connecting with the surface side gates. We can finally say goodbye to this dismal place. The gate's going to open. Is it that easy? Is it that simple? Whoa, oh, damn, Stargate. Tight. Come on, hurry up and get in there. Oh crap. Ah, so bright. Hum. Oh gosh. JJ, you're stuck here. Oh. What's going on? This piece of junk, hurry up and move. No way, this can't be. Why isn't it getting a response? It's a pleasure to meet you, ladies and gentlemen of District 99. Fortune and misfortune are like intertwined strands of rope. 
In this world, fortune and misfortune are always side by side. You know this well. You came to chase your dreams, but as a result, you are now on the brink of death. Now you have all been trapped in Yomi. This is not an accident. I did this. The reason? I want you to die, Mr. Bond. Your camp will soon be attacked by the mad sinners. And similar to those in the camp too, you will be slaughtered, no indignity spared. The only possible way you can survive is to kill the sinners before they kill you. If you stack up the corpses of the sinners, your path to freedom shall open. Believe in miracles and fight hard. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen of District 99. Whoa, dude. Okay, this is crazy. After going silent for a few moments, a few moments, the supervisor opens his mouth. <laughs> that was a lie, right? Dang. Let's go. We must defeat the thinners the next day. This is a follow report about the District 99 incidents. According to the announcement by Yomi Corporation, the Chinoa Gate malfunction is quite serious. It will take at least two months to fix it. Yo, come on, two months? However, the base camp has only about three weeks worth of food and food, water and food stockpiled. At this juncture, the rescue of the trapped undernauts appear impossible. That's us. Damn, messed up. A supervisor who had holed up in his bed shock. It is bed shock. Huh? Yeah, shock. Comes into the tent. So, we really are trapped inside Yomi. The man on the radio wasn't lying. But it's already been a whole day. I'm tired of feeling sorry for myself. My body's pretty open about its desires. I just got hungry all of a sudden. Come on, let's share this. He pulls out a cup of ramen. It was one of the stockpiled in the camp. This doesn't compare to Yomi New. But when you're hungry, everything is delicious. Yomi New? Cool. Yomi knew. Pour hot water, wait for three minutes. Nothing special about this ritual. But at this moment, that slice of normal life was nostalgic and comforting. We slurp the hot cup ramen immediately. Our bodies grow warm and I feel a bit more chipper. Well, thanks for the meal. My wife and I both love cup ramen. We used to eat it at home a lot. So I'm eating this feels like a being, being a bit at home. Though once I'm finished, I'm racked to being in the pits of hell. I know what the radio said, but I believe in technological capabilities of the corporation. Maybe the repairs will go off without a hitch and the gate starts working again tomorrow. That's gotta be what happens, right? Anyway, Chief, knowing you, I bet you're gonna head into Yomi now. So I'll give this to you. Boost man! Yeah, what is that? That sounds cool. Now that the fusion reactor is working, we can finally activate it. If you're a proper undernaut, you gotta know how to use it, right? Go on on those crazy monsters and train yourself to your heart's content. I also have one request before you leave. That girl, Lucy, has a budge from the fusion reactor. It's a little creepy, so check up on her. And they got a tutorial. There we go. Oh, snap! When you level up, you get skill points. You can learn skills uh, learned from the strategy screen. Self-management. You can freely reallocate... What? You can freely reallocate job points? That's really awesome. Huh. That sounds amazing. So how do I do that? Let's see, job change. No, that's job changing. So wait, once you change job, you're allocated return. So wait, you can change everyone's job at will? Um, but that doesn't matter. Wait, unless you can, if you can't change your attributes, it, it doesn't matter then. All right, formation, promotion. Obviously we can't promote yet. Recommended skill, vicious striker. Recommended skill, wisdom, whatever. Don't even know. Man, I bet there's like some really, really cool ways to like level up your character, right? Someone asked if you can um, cross, like mix classes. I don't, haven't seen anything about that just yet. Formation, job change. Where do we do this? Here? Or I have to do it outside. What's the matter? I probably have to do it outside here. Maybe in the view squad. Skills, use, learn. Okay, um, where's my skills? Where does it say? How many do I have? What? <laughs> Seriously, what does it say? Reset all. Concentrate. Um, <laughs> I don't see the number. Oh, five on the right. Ah, oh, God, I thought that was my level because it said two. 
But I have five skill points. Wait, how come I can't learn this? Spirit bullet. Powerful range attack. Whoa, tight. How come I can't get back to this? I must ha I must have to learn one of these. So if I learn minor strike, you have to learn. Co oh, it comes with concentrate. Seriously? That comes with concentrate? Okay, so I can choose. HP up. So these are whatever. Increases HP by 100. Can be relearned until HP reaches growth limit. HP reaches growth limit. Relearned? Weird. Internal key on. Automatically restore. Are you kidding me? Don't give me that. It goes to eight after that. How much does it cost? Two? That sounds really amazing. Repulse. Chance to counter. Say word. It's pa it's a passive. It's a passive. I Okay, at level five, I can learn this. 25% chance raised by speed and luck. Yo, I'm gold, dude. Okay, Cyclone against a whole enemy line. Mighty Attack also harms me. Damn, Pokemon recoil. Um, so this is level five. So these are all the skills I can learn for now. I wonder if you get more on a class or you simply have to level up and learn another class. Um, so yeah, I'm interested in absolutely Kigong, Repulse, Kripazetti. Mighty Attack also hits me. Okay, we want Cyclone Strike for sure. Um, let's see. So this is negative 20% damage, but if I do this one again, it's negative 10%. So we're actually going to be adding damage once we get a higher level. Okay, I'll put um, another one in Cyclone Strike, and I'll put this one here. But once we get um, more, I'm going to go ahead and redo that. Okay, time for um, he Hero. Hero, okay, let's go ahead and redo all these. HP and B. Emergency Guard. Okay, let's, let's read through all these. I, it's fun. Okay, attacks with can stun. Which scales with shield. 50 damage or more. Stun percent. Cool. Protect the vanguard. That's very good. Always want that one. I don't think we want to protect the rear guard just yet. Um, we haven't seen too many monsters that go after the rear. But we can change it anytime. So it's not an issue. Look at this. You can increase the block chance. That's really good. I'm probably going to be doing that. May take reduced damage from attack. 5% raised by condition and luck. Emergency guard may uh, let's see protect rear guard for allies from attacks May protect rear guard allies, but this is rear guard allies. Oh, is this a freaking as a passive? Oh, it's also passive. That's really nice. Oh So this one is just oh, you don't have to activate this one. This one was just here. So that's a pretty good one Okay, I Like I like all of these Hmm Uh not enough skill points. Oh, you have to have five? You have to have five on there? That's crazy. All right. Let's go with... How about level two in Vanguard? And then we'll get one on Shield Bash. All right. I have one point. Might as well put it in this one. Have a chance to... Uh, passive. Yeah, okay. All right. That's cool. Next is Lumi. Mismatching equipment has been removed. <laughs> Oh, you have to learn dual wielding. I was wondering if there were any abilities to mess with that. So, yeah, we want to increase this so the penalty is pretty much almost at zero. So if you increase it, look at that. It goes to 10%. Okay, that's cool. So EI slash. So you level it up. And then more level. Good damage, accuracy, rapid barrage. A series of two, three consecutive. Huh. Helm splitter. Dual wielding. Dog, dogged persistence. Increase attack when HP is low. It doesn't say when, like how low though. What is that? 50%? 25%? Accuracy up. Ooh, that's really good. Okay. So we want dual wielding. We want EI slash. We want empty mind. And uh, more EI slash, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we'll just do this. Okay. Next is Popalon. This is our new uh, guy here. Okay. So dual wielding. Dual wield. Uh, maybe I could dual wield shurikens. I'll try that out. So stealth. What does stealth do? Enter stealth mode. Okay. I guess you need to be... Yep. In stealth, ambush a foe with more damage. So you have to go in, sneak. So you gotta sneak and then you get stealth. So it gives you that. Illusion. If successful, help squad evade single targets for one turn. If successful, helps squad evade single attack turns for one turn. What? That's a support attack? That's cool. I'll try that out. Miss. Lower all allies, uh, all enemies' accuracy and enter stealth. Concealment. Drops enemy level. Cuts encounter rate. 
Thoughts on the counter rate? Um, last until return to base. Ooh. Dual wielding, of course. Substitute techniques. Passive chance to evade. Cool. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, level up. I don't think I care about this right now. Let's increase dual wielding. See if I can put on two shurikens or whatever. Um, okay, next is me. Oh, yeah, let's look at all this. Okay, focus magic. Boost the user's magic strength for the duration of the battle. 50%. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay, look at this. Once you level it up by two. Um, hold on. At rank four, targets an enemy line. Whoa. Okay, well, it's good to put that up. Hydrokinesis at level five, at level five. Geokinesis level one. Magic barrier reduces the chance of ailments via magic. Uh, it says five percent chance of ailments via magic. Applies to insta kills. Last until it's returned to base. That sounds pretty good. I don't see why you wouldn't want to use this. Bra Bradykinesis. Don't care about that. HP up. Okay, I like a I like this. It's a good like support. So ten percent chance of going of getting rid of ailments via magic. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll upgrade this. Damage up. Pyrokinesis. Actually, we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do we'll just do like straight magic damage for now. Oh, this requires two. Man, never mind. Magic. This one then. Okay, so Pyro is the strongest. All right, and Anna. Lastly, our, it's gonna be our cleric, Ray of Light. Oh snap! Active light attack against one foe. Um, it's a light attack. I don't know if it's like a range or anything. Gamma Ray. Magic attack that can insta kill one foe. <laughs> non elemental damage to undead. Ooh. Medi, of course, we want that. Healing effect times two. Yes. Multi Medi, restore squad. Cure Medi, add status ailment. We probably want that. Um, Look at that. Turn order boosted and MP cost reduced if we level it up. Nice. Dude, what the hell? The cost goes down to five? That's cool. Um, adroitness, boost, accuracy, and evasion for the battle. Enduring, last until we turn to base. What the hell? How this is insane, huh? Antibody, boost, resistance to ailments. All right, I like that. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Whew, I'm gonna have to requip some items on my character though. Hold on. Okay, both hands in use. Knife. Okay, here we go. Katana, knife. Now you have a supply kunai. There's a throne. Maybe I can get two supply kunais. Let me give that a try. Good. Then we'll try like doing a regular attack. Cause if I can get double attacks, that'd be great, huh? Okay. It's a uh, crate. I want to make supply kunai, right? So only the ninja. So ninja could use supply kunai. They could use knuckles. Ninja can use a katana, rusted katana. I look, there's a rusted and a regular. I guess if I just find it, I can craft it, huh? What the hell? Look at this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm okay. I thought I'm creating. Isn't it interesting how this one costs more to make than this one? Is there a specific reason for that? Maybe it has more potential. It doesn't sound right. All right. Let's upgrade. Well, let's try equipping it first before I upgrade it. Okay, squad, characters, uh, Popolong, two supply kunai, double kunai, let's go. Okay, I'm hoping we can just toss it, right? So let's go ahead and upgrade it. If it didn't work, no problemo. Equipment, Popolong, let's go ahead and do supply kunai plus, supply kunai plus. Hell yeah. All right. It likes, everyone's ready. Let's do it. I'm probably missing one more thing. Oh, hold on. Uh, characters. Uh, pop along. Head. Accessory. All right, whatever. We'll find more. Okay. What do they want us to do? Talk to the girl. Uh, so we want to go to the fusion and talk. The girl in the wheelchair is Lucy sitting blankly in front of the fusion reactor. What is it? The girl notices my presence and looks up. There's a lot of things I want to ask her. What should I start with? Her. 
I and Lucy, the spirit tree sacrifice. Every time the Mad King wished for a miracle from the spirit tree, my blood was offered to it. My heart had been pierced by blades many times. My limbs and head had been plucked off. But I cannot die. That's how my body is. Yet the scars never heal. My body is broken. My soul and memory shattered. I can no longer remember the past. I found myself alone in Yomi. Dude, that's messed up. Alright, what about the fusion reactor? Fusion reactor? You're wrong. This is the Mad King spirit tree. It was made by the Mad King of the Forest of Death. A spirit tree makes miracles of creation. These miracles can change the world. Eventually, you will understand. The peace of the miracle bestowed upon you with the power of the blessing of regeneration. Hmm, okay. What about the camp? I was taken under the protection of the people there, but their spirit tree was broken. I couldn't bestow the blessing of regeneration upon them. That's why everyone was killed by the monster that came from the north. The girl in the red clothes. A girl with the same name as me? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. But then again, my memories are unreliable. What if it's her? <laughs> oh, it could be her, huh? Alright, the blessing. I am afraid of people's deaths. When I hear someone's dying screams, I remember my own past. So when the spirit tree was revived, I granted everyone here the blessing of regeneration. As long as the spirit tree is working, you will never die. Yes, just like me. Your heart shall be shattered. You'll despair. And even if you wish for death, you'll come back. You might be upset with me for blessing you without permission, but I had my selfish reasons for doing so. How to escape? I told the girl about her situation. Yomi is a prison, cut off from the world. If you wish to leave, you must rely on the spirit and tree's miracle. But if for the miracle, you'll need a sacrifice. I was born to be the sacrifice, but because my wounds have not healed, I can't. So this miracle will require other ones. For example, the monster, Camp 2 North. Someone like a sinner, yes. If you wish to escape, get a sinner. I will offer it. Poggies! We have our thing. Blessing of regeneration. Okay, we got it. From now on, when you're wiped out, you will recover. So, no permadeath. Okay. Creating Yomi flowers. You will need to create Yomis. Yes. Uh, this can be dumped from Yomi flower create. Flower power. Extracted from items. Okay, you got it. I'm ready. Okay, let's go! <laughs> I'm ready to go back and... Oh, it's her again. It's Cassandra. But is it the chief? Are you going to head into the labyrinth again? Shit, yes. <laughs> what a hard-working person. Wonderful. Chief, do you still remember Cassandra co uh, uh the three rules of for undernauts? I taught them to you the day you joined the company. After pausing, she began to recite the company rules. First, undernauts are not company drones. Don't rely on orders and guidance. Secondly, find information with your own legs. Explore everywhere. Try everything possible. Those are the rules. If you're going to the labyrinth, don't forget the rules. Let me tell you about the tasks. To inspire undernauts to increase morale, we started issuing undernaut tasks. These will reward people who find new Yomi resources or defeat many monsters. So complete some. I have high hopes for you, Chief. Oh, yeah? How oh, she goes to the residential tent. Should I just unlock uh, achievements? Uh, other undernaut tasks, earn rewards. Info, task, list. List. Hey, check it out. 20 types of loot. Skill boost 1. Opaque gem 5. Opaque. Extent to storage. When you complete it, completion rewards, they're in storage. Cool. Alright, let's see. Storage, withdraw. Um, gain a skill point. Consumable. You can make at the reactor. Awesome. This is good for flower power or argon. Cool. Okay, all right, I'm down, I'm down. Now what? I guess we just go out and explore. I like how the game's like, go figure out what's going on. Get out there. <laughs> I like this game. I'm excited to explore, yeah. It's one of my favorite things in video games. Not knowing what's going on and just have fun exploring, seeing what the game has to offer. All right, to all personnel. You may be feeling uneasy, I can't move by the way, about the District 99 incidents. But rest assured that the company has the situation under control. Continue your current operations. Okay, I shall. Trying to move. I have to wait for it to go away. So like, that's the radio. It's the first time it's uh, been going off, I guess. This portable receiver is also a radio signal. Uh, it airs radio programs. I've heard about this. It's hard to send it outside, but it's easy to get them in. I don't understand the mechanics, but it was true. Radio has been added to the glossary. 
radio. While traveling, you can get radio broadcasts. They display up there. Some have useful information. Press ZR to receive a broadcast on command. Auto travel. In the full map, select the place to auto travel. Auto travel? No way. Let's try that out. Open up a map. Let me try like this. I'll tell you, man, that's pretty useful. <laughs> that's good. Okay, I like that. Oh, man. This requires uh, some sort of bridge. I don't have a bridge thing. Uh, let me see. How do we get over there? Oh, I have to dig from there. Okay, so remember, there could be some secret things I don't know about. So I'm trying to bash my way into every single wall possible. So um, I wonder, can I click this? Like, does that work? Well, I don't want to. Okay, apparently it works. Okay, um, here. Okay, let's start by. Ooh, there's an enemy. So what happens if I do this? There's gonna be an enemy in the way, right? So we're just gonna start a fight. Okay. I was just interested. Okay, let's try this out. This is a good opportunity. Switch boost. What's that? Switch boost. Whoa. The boost band wrapped around my arm has four switches on it. When I press them, it uh, the electrodes embed in the underneath the brain to activate. A flower-shaped jolt of argon energy emerges. For a few seconds, a miraculous power is drawn from our brains. That's the switch boost, the body enhancement system. Okay. At the site, four, spun, uh, four person. I'm the only one who can wear the band. It's my right to shine as the four person. Pick it up the right switch at the right time. Really? Okay, this sounds cool. Switch boost during battle. Uh, yeah, buddy. Teach me. Enemy encounter. Look at the switch boost up there. Undernauts can set electricity to boost their attributes for one turn. Switch boost, which can grant one to four charges. Select overcharge. Use ZR and select overcharge. Okay, ZR. Overcharge enhances skills. For one turn, skills can be used without consuming MP. Skill power is also improved. Hmm. Next is Duracharge. Duracharge. Duracharge strengthens defenses. Damage is half and we're immune to status ailments. Okay, it's really important. Okay, we have an attack one, we have a defense one. Next is Neurocharge. Hero charge. Speed and luck. For one turn, accuracy and evasion are increased. Also easier to preempt enemy actions. If it's one while active, they will drop two treasure chests. <laughs> oh my god. And then there's recharge. Recharge. Um, are powerful, cannot be used continuously. They require one turn to recharge. Overcharge, Duracharge, and Neurocharge will be recharged in the order they were used. Use Switch Boost wisely to gain the edge in combat to acquire more treasure. Is there no downside to this? Neurocharge. What the hell? Boost Swap. Boost Swap. Wait, is it active? Oh, you press ZL to act. Um. Oh, R1 changes up the thing down there. Isn't that interesting? Accuracy evasion. I kind of like the uh, the portraits. Hmm. I wish you could see the portraits plus all this stuff. Interesting. All right, not necessary. Okay, so how do you use the switch charge? Is it just active? All right. Let's use the cyclone strike. These guys are level six. Level sixteen. What the hell? They're so strong. Protect the Vanguard. EI slash. Illusion. All right, we want to do a regular attack. Yeah. Oh, my God. The backline can regular attack. Isn't that amazing? I'm assuming boost swap is active. Hero got ready to protect the Vanguard. Knife two. Supply kunai. Whoa. The backline's getting hit. What the hell? Damn that damage! Backlink got messed up. Oh, interesting. All right. So if if I know it's a it's a turn we're gonna kill, we should activate this. Baton. All right. Oh, 
Okay, that changes up the game a little bit. I got a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. He didn't drop any treasure. All right. Use. Use uh, Medi. Cure a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use this. Increases accuracy and evasion until we get the base. How do we tell if it's active? I used it, but is there like some sort of... Wait, what is that on the right? Yeah, hold on. Use... Let's use magic para barrier. Look on the right, the top right. You see that? Those things are active. Huh, looks like there's only one, two, three, four, five. There's only six different ones, I guess? Yeah, whatever, that's cool. Okay, um, so I can go fight enemies. Which I will. Those guys are high level, what the hell? I'm, I'm glad for this, uh, this quick travel. It's really nice, especially if places you've been to before. It's good. Ah, so if we charge this every single time, that is pretty pog. Dude! You could overcharge the very first turn and nothing, no one can do anything about it. What the hell? Everyone should do something. This is insane. That means I can get a free medi off every turn. We can get a free medi. Oh, wait, did I boost the fences? No, I boosted. I, I did overcharge. We get a free medi. Unless. Hold on, I didn't check. Maybe it's only for attacks. Wow, boost charge is insane. Yeah, we got a free one. <laughs> Dude, no way. All right, now that it's over, uh, we'll do... So, dirt charge is for defense. So, if it's a long battle, you're going to have to recharge. Damn. Okay, this added a lot of stuff to the game. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's go. Ta -da. Kill a fish. Hell yeah! Level up. So I only got one, huh? So his stuff is also on luck. So we're gonna have strength. Con well, he has speed on luck for his skills, isn't it? I'm gonna have to do a bunch. Let me just get a little bit of luck. HP up, MP up. Alright, let's keep going with Constitution. I want that at least at 20. Yumi, I want speed to get to 20 before I do anything else. Mobby will go, and once again, I want like all of their like high-end stuff to 20, and then we'll start thinking about secondary skills, secondary stuff. So, we asked them. Found treasure. We got two of them, don't we? Spikes. We got um, rest of katanas. Ooh, leather helmets. Two of them. We found some helmets. We have to put those on. Wait, didn't we find two treasures? Or maybe it was two treasures worth of loot. Something like that, right? All right. All right, I have cap two. Cap two's fine, nothing equipped. All right, leather helm two. Trap evasion for the wide brim helmet. <laughs> Sorcerer can wear this one. So I should wear this. Tattered cap. Tattered cap, eh? Evasion. So this is the same stuff. Leather helmet's better. Leather helmet's better. Nothing equipped. So you can wear the tattered cap. And then wide brimmed hat. Here you go. Wide brimmed hat. There you go. There you go. I was wearing something. Wasn't there other stuff too? Like body stuff or katana? I think that was it. Knife two. Was it extra knife two? Huh. That's a one-handed staff. Shield. Wait, can no one else wear the knife too? Oh, I guess there's no reason to use it. All right, that was, dude. That. Oh my god, I can't believe it, dude. That is so cool. Okay, where am I? Okay, since we already seen this area, we don't know how to open these doors yet. I guess we'll do every single one of these that we can. Oh, run a rock. Nice. Can I can I stop moving? At, at, you, you can you can cancel it in the middle, just like I did. Then. That's really good. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. How many do I have? 
Monflower. Uh, Dorflower. Okay, so I want to focus on, you know, exploring every little bit that I can. What the hell is this? A multitude of monsters? Consecutive battle. Multiple skulls. Uh, same as the number of skulls, so two. Are we still in the same? Yeah, we're still in the same danger level area. Um, yeah, let's go. Woo! So two enemy encounters here. So that's the one. Okay. So we don't want to use any switch boosting here. We can just regular attack this guy. No need to do anything. My main team's good enough for this. Easy. Now, enemy two. Okay, so it restarts again. It's a good opportunity to use my overcharge. We can use the cyclone strike against the whole enemy line. And it's overcharged, so everyone go insane. Everyone, if successful, help squad if single target for one turn. I want to try this out. I don't know if it works for everyone or just because it says the team. That makes sense, right? Anyone need a quick heal? No. And during until turn of phase. So that's already on. But how could you tell, like, on the top right, which one is it? I don't even know. I guess we'll just do this. EI slash. Ooh. Illusion deflected the attack meant for hero. Are you kidding? Whoa. We have so many defensive maneuvers. It's amazing. What? The illusion? Uh oh. <laughs> illusion deflected the attack. Wow. With ninja's insane. Let's do Dura Charge. Yes. Dura Charge. Man. Tom 2. Double Strike. Fly Kunai. Let's go. Wait. Did, did that. Did we only get one attack off from that ninja? Should have checked. Fire Rokinesis. Oh, damn it. He died before we can use the uh, the one that gives us double. That's okay. It's not going to happen every single time. Um, Huh. I wish I could look at my skills while doing this. Because I don't remember what I would want the most on this character. Found treasure. Nerve gas, 100%. Thorny fist. It's for the fighter class Uninja. Fighter class only. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and equip that. Damn, we're getting a lot of stuff. All right, so Knuckles, Thorny Fist. Very big upgrade. Oh, amazing. My constitution also goes up. So does that increase my max HP? Let me check. My H my max HP is what? I can't even see it. 107. It doesn't change. That's weird. Is the constitution supposed to increase my, my HP? Thorny Fist. I don't know what quality means, man. Is it better? Is A better? Is B better? Is G better? So this one has better against other worlders, but who cares? What the fuck? Look at this. 15 times 3? That's OP. Okay. Oh, I stepped on something. Um, the cruel monster that I camp attacked to. Camp 2. The sinner has apparently gone north of District 99. She said you needed the sinner soul. To survive, you need to find the sinner. Mining level. Okay, so this is the area. So this is it, mining depths, danger level three. I'll go here later. I want to continue finishing off everything we can here, which means, what the hell's over here? Nothing? Check this out. Is there nothing there? Oh, there's quick over there. There's no issue. <laughs> I'll probably do that battle too. Check. Yeah, there's nothing here. The exchange rates and whatever. Okay, let's, let's do this fight. Da -da 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 -da. Beep -bop -boop. They're talking about the exchange. What the hell? So that's the back line, is it? Okay. Overcharge first, dude. Cyclone the back line. Can I not reach them? It says X. Guess we can't reach them. Gotta do a regular attack then. Uh, for this first turn, we'll do a Dura Charge. Get some defense. And just simply take out this guy first. Dura Charge. Alright, let's go. Katana 2. So, okay, keep an eye on the ninja. See if we get two attacks off. Supply Kunai. Huh. 
Oh, there you go. All right, she does get double attacks. Brady Kinesis. It's fine. The heal? 20 fist times three. Three times 15. Wow. Dude, this guy's not dead? Short screen. All right, cool. Now it's overcharge turn. We get a free attack. Everyone gets free attacks. So if possible, like right now, I'm always going to use my free attacks here. Ah, my dude, Illusion's too good, too. Um, I think with our Cleric, I should also get her that other attack. I might as well, right? I might as well use that other attack. The one that gives her some magical range. I think it's range. We'll see when we equip it. Okay. Ah, uh, they're attacking my Illusion. Get wrecked. 40 fist, so strong. Boom. <laughs> Shield bash. Nice, we get a free turn of Nero charge. So everyone, kill this BZ. Beast clap. Yeah, I did it. Found treasure. Abnormal. Oh, what? I can't believe one of these items. Okay, this is two of the same items. Is it truly the same though? Okay, nothing different. Got short spear plus, single edge kunai, tatter cap torn briefs. All right. Damn, I got a lot of stuff. You get like a million loot here. Whoa. Defeated 50 Yomians, luck boost, constitution, and blue gems, five. Minor MP restore, 25 times loot. Um, how do I see? What I've done, task list, under not task. Discover 100 new Yomis, discover 150 new Yomis. Wait, what do we mean Yomis? Are these different monsters? No way, dude. Is there 550 monsters? I'm sure there's reskins, but 550 is kind of a lot. Acquire knives. Okay, so the, the this is gonna happen eventually. I wanna see if there's anything I need to look out for on my way, cause like obtaining these should be easy. It's just gonna happen. Like getting all sorts of armors and clothing. But loot discovery. Five times a loot, 15 times defeat. Yeah? Uh okay, okay. Defeating Yomians. Defeating Otherworlder? I don't know what other worlders are. Three thousand Yomis total. Let's go. Monsters, undead types, occult types. Once again, these are just gonna happen. Discover 200 new Yomians. Oh my god, what's a Yomian, dude? Uh, 100 victories in our combat log. Um, those who complete all under not. Okay, so all, all of these are going to happen. Like, There's no getting around it. It's going to happen eventually. Special task. So these are my stuff. These are the... This is the main quest. Alright, you, you got it. Is there anything here I need to see? Oh, project report. Oh, sweet. Look at two hours, battles one, totals. It doesn't say how many times I died. <laughs> Yomi info. Yomi items. Oh, these are I Yomi items. So you're never going to see anything more than this, huh? Map book, glossaries, basic information. All right. All I got to do, quick equipment. Um, it's weird how it says equipment and then <laughs> it's supplies. This literally should just literally like say supplies because going to your equipment over here sounds really weird, huh? All right, what did we get? We got another tattered cap two. Uh, okay, so that's whatever. But we got some undergarments, torn briefs. It's kind of garbage, honestly. So it's worse than undergarments in general, isn't it? It is worse than undergarments. Is anyone wearing anything else? Leather briefs? It's so worse. All right, we're all wearing something better than that. Old tree bracelet gives me plus one wisdom. Wisdom to who? I mean, who doesn't have a ring? <laughs> I'll just give it to you, whatever. That's a terrible bracelet. Thanks. I picked up some knives too. Rapiers, rusted katanas. So as a fencer, I can wear these. Is it better? Three times, nine times three for the knife. Rapiers, two times 16. 
Uh, this one gives me more speed. That's interesting. And it has better attack on certain enemies. So this is, so my knife is 27 and this is 32. So yeah, it, it's better. I'll wear two of these katanas to rapier. Double rapiers. God dang, that's so freaking strong. Single edge kunai, 11 times one. Plus accuracy if I wear this one. Single edge kunai. Neat. Anything else? We need to switch out? No, I think that's good. Hunter ninja. Hunter. Okay, I like that. Let's keep going. Uh, where are we? Okay, so we're gonna go for this fight. So here it looks like we need uh, a ladder. Um, what's over here on the left side? Nothing. This is danger level four. That's a, called a hideout. Danger level two, danger level three. I guess we'll just go towards the danger levels, even though I want to explore. I'll explore everything I can. Oh, it's over here. Oh my god, it's already freaking 45 minutes in. God dang, dude. Oh, what the hell? We got ambushed? Ow, what? Dude, kill this guy, guys. Kill this fool. Oh, Cyclone Strike's actually worse than my regular attack at the moment. Shield Bash. Scales with shield. I don't even know what it means by scaling. Like what? The shield level? Or what's going on? I don't know what kind of shield thing they're talking about. Uh. Uh, sign. Shield bash. 93! Holy oh, shit. Alright. Auto travel has finished. Can I change up my skills out here? You can! You can change at any time! Alright, where's freaking... Uh, what's her name? Anna. Right, I want to put Ray of Light on. So we're going to get rid of uh, Cure Medi for now. I want to see this. Because if this could be used in the back line, that's amazing, right? Cure Medi. Go on Medi. Oh, everyone leveled up. That's right. I could add more stuff. Uh, magic Barrier. We don't care about that. I mean, why the hell not? Concealment. We don't really care about that, do we? Helm Splitter. I think we need two, two before we do anything else. All right, sorry guys, gonna end this one here. If you enjoy, leave a like. It helps a lot. Apparently, summary for daily videos. This game goes by so fast. I'm just really enthralled. It's fun. I like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.